the tram system in kolkata the capital city of the indian state of west bengal operated by west bengal transport corporation wtc after calcutta tramways corporations were dissolved is the oldest tram network operating in india an oldest operating tramway in the continent of asia started in 1902 it is the oldest electric tramway in india it is also the only operating tram network of india at present the in the network initially had up to 37 lines in the 1960s but has gradually reduced over the years with only six lines currently operating due to financial struggles poor maintenance and management low ridership addition of road flyovers expansion of the kolkata metro slow tram speed and perceptions that the trams are outdated and occupy too much road and space as per wtc which maintains the existing tram line two routes 24 by 29 and 25 had been running regularly with very irregular and limited service on the other five routes known as route number 36 5 18 11 and 15 by 12 As of January 2023 only the two regular routes are in service with the service on the other routes completely shut down due to these complex issues there have been occasional talks of either shutting down the network permanently or lowering the operations of the system however the system is also considered environment friendly and an icon of the city of kolkata so there have been recent efforts to sustain the system with newer trams The first hot dawn trams in India ran for 2.4 miles between Sialda and Armenian Ghat Street on 24th of February 1873. The service was however discontinued on November 20th of that year. The Calcutta Tramway Company was formed and registered in London on 22nd of December 1880. Meter gauge horse drawn tram tracks were laid from Sialda to Armenian Ghat via Bobajar Street, Dalhousie Square and Strand Road. The route was inaugurated by none other than the Viceroy Lord Ripon on the 1st of November 1880. However, at first it was planned to open tram network in three directions in north towards Kumartuli via Chitpur Road for easy transportation of the then rich indians middle classes and poor who lived in those areas in the east towards Shalda station via Bobaja street for railway passengers interchange who came from outside of kolkata and in the south towards Kalighat via Rosha road because not only for easy transportation of the then rich indians middle classes and poor who lived at those areas but also as hindu pilgrimage regarding kali temple for inhabitants and tourists however over the time the scenario has been changing drastically and the tram has slowly been degraded over time in the process that it has been getting faded from the history of the city of kolkata in a very sad way the expansion of the tramway took place after a decade of major closure on lines some new routes were planned by the government the then transport minister robin mukherjee proposed some new lines these were like maniktala to bidhanagar behala to joka galip street to dakhineshwar taliganj outpost to jab jadavpur ultodanga to airport kalighat to taratala molali to park circus However, these systems didn't took much space over the time and the tram systems faded in history. Since 1990, losses of Kolkata tram started increasing and to overcome this it was thought by the government that the entire tram network will be gradually replaced by bus and lands of depot and terminus will be sold to promoters for construction of high rise buildings in Calcutta to address the need for new constructions and new apartment buildings in the growing and booming city of kolkata calcutta tramways corporation company was introduced in uh, the bus service on 4th of november 1992 with a fleet of 40 buses the planetorium line was closed due to excuse of loss making the terminus was converted to park however tracks were still present until 2010 and masts were still present now are being used as lamp post After 2 years the Howrah station terminus was also closed converted to bus terminus and the tram tracks were removed on the Rabindra Setu the following year since the world busiest aging cantilever bridge was not strong enough for trams to travel frequently the routes were also terminated they were moved back to Bada Bazar however 
all attempts in reviving the tram services in Kolkata did not take much steam. However, now there is a talk about the environment-friendly nature of the trams and that it is a non-pollution commuting device that needs to be retained. Although it has vanished from all corners of India, it has still been a strong presence in the city of Kolkata as a part of the heritage of the metro city. Talks are now there been to continue at least uh, to having the tram as a heritage transport system and if it not cannot be operated on a regular basis, it should be operated on auspicious days and are part of Calcutta heritage and tourism packages to increase and influence tourists visiting Kolkata to give them a sense of the Kolkata heritage life to the best of the ability. However, is in spite of the fact that the ridership of the tram has gone down, it's still nostalgic in the mind of every Calcutans that has lived this city. And they feel that this should continue as a service no matter how much slower it is or how much space it takes because it still represents an icon a jewel in the crown of Kolkata for ages and times to come. It is possibly for the next generation to decide whether they will continue tram as a transport and communication mode in the city of Kolkata, but till now it hangs on with its sticking death. Shoikot Kumar Basu, Bureau Report, Kalinga Chronicle TV.